Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and thank you for joining us for our daily video. Today we're going to be talking about Saphir Soul Guard. So come join us and check it out. Now, some of you who have been around for quite some time on our channel have seen my very first video that we did about Saphir Soul Guard, where we did kind of a side-by-side -side comparison using other products to treat the bottom of soles, uh, leather ones in particular, and just kind of really testing them out. Again, that was my first video, so don't judge. If you want to check that out, you can definitely do that. If you go back through history, it's the very first one that I have up. But I want to do a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of a redo, in other words. We're not going to do too much testing, side-by-side -side comparison in this video, but just kind of talk over the product itself. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, familiar with it, this is from the Saphir Medal Duo line in particular. It's a vegetable oil-based um, solution that conditions the bottom of leather soles. Now, when I say vegetable oil, yes, it's 100% vegetable oil. No, it's not like the type that you get at the grocery store. A lot of people were always, you know, talking about it, saying, well, why can't I just go to the grocery store and buy a big old gallon of it or something like that? Well, there's a huge difference, okay? One is the refinement process is very different. You know, refining vegetable oil for cooking is different. You're trying to keep a lot of those uh, specific, you know, ingredients and um, different keynotes about that vegetable oil in the produce uh, while you're cooking, in other words, while this one they try to extract some of that so the oils don't stay very greasy and everything. So when you're applying it on a pair of shoes like we did here for a test run a little bit on these Johnson Murphys that, are, that we're featuring today that we're going to be working on later on, um, it doesn't end up being greasy. There's no greasy residue left over. So this is 100% vegetable oil that is highly refined and they use very specific vegetables and berries in order to produce this product here. So don't assume that just grabbing any old vegetable oil is gonna work. It's not going to. You're gonna feel like you're sliding around and a lot of that other vegetable oil is going to rub off of your soles very quickly and very easily. Now on that note, uh, obviously, as a vegetable oil that's designed to condition the bottom of leather soles, leather soles, they need attention. They get beaten up heavily and everything. So you definitely want to use that. But with this particular one, because of the refinement process, it's really designed to penetrate deeper into that leather and not just settle over top. Where a regular vegetable oil, it's going to tend to settle over top and that's why it's going to rub off very quickly on your carpet, hardwood floor, wherever you are. It's going to come off very easily and again, it's very greasy feeling where this is not. But, um, you know, for those of you who are thinking because it says, you know, it's a soul guard, it protects the soul and everything, yes, it does. You know, obviously you're going to see see little wet spots here and there on the leather, but we got a pair of JR Oak Bark Tanned soles. These are Oak Bark Tanned and they are really very much designed to be water resistant. Now that does not mean that you're not going to see any kind of water markings or anything like that or typical wear. The goal of treating leather to that kind of extent when it's a leather that's designed to be worn and impacted a lot when you're walking you have to think about the core structure of the leather you're not thinking about that top thin layer where it's just a nice beautiful finish the thought is the core structure the the main key component of the layers in this leather sole here so if i take some water right now here and i spray it that's just a little bit it's going to show it immediately you can see that. I mean, it's starting to dry up already, but that very top layer is going to absorb a little bit of water, but the rest of the layers actually won't take on nearly as much, um, you know, just because the rest of the sole is still treated. And because it's already starting to dry quickly, a lot of that moisture, any salts and minerals will not be able to penetrate deep enough into that leather to degrade it, make it, you know, kind of fall apart, disintegrate or rot or anything like that. That's kind of the goal of oak bark tanning or using this stuff on any of your leather soles. So don't start freaking out and thinking, oh, this stuff doesn't work. It doesn't work. You really want to waterproof them 100 percent. Grab some, you know, Tarago Tektron, or I mean, Tarago Nano waterproofer or the uh, Saphir stuff as well. 
that will waterproof the top layer for you but the core of that leather sole is not going to be waterproofed whatsoever or this will and that's the goal you want to make sure to do that the other thing obviously because um, this is an oil here it's going to restore a lot of the nutrients to the pore structure and the leather and kind of rejuvenate it we always talk about treating the uppers obviously these need a lot of love and attention right here but we always talk about the uppers or making the edges look nice with a, you know a wax coat or something like that but a lot of people miss the bottom of the sole it's not something that's seen. Obviously, it's not going to make it look 100% beautiful or anything like that, but it's going to restore. So as far as, you know, treating these guys, it's very simple. I mean, quite literally, put some on a rag beforehand. You want to make sure you shake it up nicely just in case if any of the oils separate in there. It's always a good idea to shake everything up, um, but just apply it onto a rag and then apply it to the surface. Now, I'll show you on this one since we did a few little spots here. This edge right here, the small area there, I did a single coat. This one I did a double coat. Obviously you can tell it has changed the color, but just to kind of get an idea, let's see how this all works out. See, right there on these edges, the water is sitting over top a little bit more than actually going in. Where on, on the center where I haven't treated it, it's really getting absorbed like a sponge basically so it does have some waterproof features to it obviously but it's it's not going to be 100% waterproof again you want something 100% waterproof you're gonna have to use a waterproofing spray but the problem is it's just waterproofing that top layer or it's gonna add a layer basically a waterproofer and if you're wearing a pair of leather sole shoes you're gonna take a couple of steps out there and you're gonna wear out that waterproofer after about five maybe ten steps if you're lucky but when you're using this it's gonna really absorb into that leather nicely and just penetrate deeper and so you definitely want to make sure to take that into consideration before you finally say oh no i don't want to use that stuff i don't want to spend the money on it when i could just you know use my waterproofer or something your decision up to you completely i mean like this pair of the lucases where we had the bottom finish that's a finish that's over top of the leather in other words and it kind of gives it a nice finish so it's going to be water waterproof for a while because the wax is in the finish that we used on here but however you know once that finish wears off you got to take into consideration what's underneath that finish there we got jr soles underneath there so we're all set with the oak bark tanning on that particular boot there but if you have a pair of shoes that don't have a finish on them or if they're a mystery leather sole in other words or even a jr sole too eventually you know jr soles they still need a little bit of conditioning too um, i mean they're very well tanned and they're going to be resistant against water damage significantly but at that point think about the aspect of conditioning it at least don't worry about the treating against water damage or any kind of minerals or salts being absorbed into it think about the conditioning aspect and this will work phenomenally hand in hand with that jr sole for sure uh, there are other applications available for this will actually be coming that in our next video so stay tuned for that but uh, on a, another note real quick for, about the product itself so this comes in a hundred mil jar and um, you know quite literally very simple application again like I said shake it up nicely put it on a rag I'll show you real quick for any of you that are really wondering you could use a brush also but I, I prefer a rag um, and just to kind of rub it in there circular motion just like that uh, if you're doing a single coat that's fine if it's a thicker leather i usually recommend so like ladies shoes for example if they're a thin leather on there a single coat is usually plenty enough but if it's a thicker sole like on a pair of western boots or goodyear welted shoes two coats might be a good idea um, i would give it about 10 to 15 minutes to soak in that first coat and then apply a second coat after and then wait an hour after the second coat if you're doing just one coat after that First initial coat there just wait an hour and you're good to go uh, typically everything gets absorbed very well you don't have to dump all of this on there this will last you for quite some time if you have six pairs this will easily last you multiple applications on those six pairs if you got 20 pairs you know you might be kind of getting close to using up the bottle if you're going to do double coats on the, all of them but that's all up to you experiment with it if you have the Saphir Soul Guard definitely test them out uh, one last thing I will mention there are some uh, numbers on the back here that some of you might be wondering yes there is an expiration date on this obviously because it's all natural products that is one thing that you have to kind of keep an eye out with Saphir because it's a high-end product using all natural ingredients like this one here there are expiration dates 
this is usually about a 10 year period that it should last from the factory to you know the day that it expires but you know sometimes some people don't buy them right away and they can be sitting in storage even at Saphir's uh, facilities for a period of time but just kind of keep an eye on that expiration date and uh, once it starts kind of expiring you know this one's going to expire on uh, you know July 29 2029 that's quite a Quite a while but i'm pretty sure this is going to be gone well before then but if you're somebody that doesn't use them often just keep an eye on those dates there so you're not using expired product you can if you want to but i usually don't recommend it because it usually loses a lot of that uh you know a lot of that great feature of conditioning at least it might still do great for the waterproofing or at least water resisting aspects of it so definitely wanted to mention that now if uh, you wanted to check out that video where I mentioned our very first one about uh, side by side comparison between this using the Saphir Palmadeer cream, the Seraphin cream, regular vegetable oil as well, uh, Angelus, uh, what was it, Angelus walk on soul that's what it was it comes in just two colors black and red um, but it just kind of shows a side-by-side -side comparison where we use a veg tan leather which really absorbs moisture very quickly and uh, we were just testing them out to see which one really resists and you know obviously there were a few that were going to resist a little bit better because uh, say the palmadier or the seraphim cream there's something that goes over top of the sole anyways and that basically becomes a finish with a wax in there but wear that out just a little bit and it's it's gone immediately so you'd have to apply that fairly frequently if you decide to do that route where typically this i would recommend um uh, maybe uh once every couple of months or so uh, depending where you live and what kind of conditions you wear the shoes in obviously but uh it seems like kind of that sweet spot is maybe once every two months so if you want to do it and push it out if you're not wearing the shoes often like once every quarter once every three months in other words and just do it that way by all means or when you do your full upper treatments that's a great time to do it as well uh so definitely check them out uh, the Saphir Soul Guard I highly recommend it I mean if you're an avid shoe lover enthusiast and all your shoes or at least a number of them have leather soles don't forget about souls I mean you know you gotta save that soul right save it save it but anyways um, where was I but extend that life expectancy also of the souls too because here in Colorado for example and other states are even worse when it comes to certain types of weathers this is going to help significantly and save you money on having to resole them because it can get very costly if you're having to resole your shoes every other year, every year, whenever it is, every couple of years. You know, that could be anywhere from, you know, depending on what sole option you go with and where you're at and everything, between 75 to well over $200 depending on the options obviously. Where investing, you know, in this here it's definitely definitely well worth it to give it even even if you add on an additional 6 months worth of wear that's huge just with some liquid in other words so definitely something you want to do but otherwise thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it like and subscribe the channel um and hit that notification bell icon if you really want to see the other application that this can be used for as well which we'll be posting in our next video and so make sure you hit that little bell down wherever it is here at the bottom next to the subscribe button so you're notified as soon as that video is out to be able to see the other side of Saphir Soul Guard. I don't even think Saphir knows that they could do with this so if anyone from Saphir is watching this you might want to start promoting it for this other option too. It'd be really good. But anyways we'll see you later.